Today I'm going to run through some of my best and worst Clinique products. Now this is a range I've had a bit of a love-hate relationship with. At 14 years old, it was all I was spending my money on. I mean, literally all I was spending my pocket money on. I was completely addicted to looking after my skin. I was using their City Block from the very second somebody told me the damage that the sun does to your skin. I have used SPF every day since, I will add. And I then had a bit of a change of heart with the brand. My skin began to break out. Um, I, and I just felt that none of my friends were using products that were this expensive and why was I the one who was suddenly out of nowhere getting spots on my chin and breakouts and unhappy skin. A friend of mine suggested I stopped using Clinique. I went for a Dermalogica facial and decided the products were a lot more gentle for the skin, especially at that age. I imagine what actually happened was my skin at 14 years old just wasn't ready for a toner such as the clarifying lotion that is so stripping with alcohol and I just felt that the products weren't working for me and I vowed never to use the clarifying lotion again. I have however tried it again recently and it doesn't take your nail polish off. There are a lot of rumours about this clarifying lotion that I'm not sure are completely founded. But today I thought I would just run through my best and worst products from the range. I've always been a huge fan of Clinique makeup and, and a number of their products as well. City Block is something that I've been using since, since 14 years old and still love to this day. The first product from Clinique's range that I absolutely love is their Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk. Now, I'm a big fan of a double cleanse. I think if you're wearing makeup, it doesn't hurt at all to take your makeup off before you do your cleanse. And this is really kind. I just do a couple of pumps into my hand. This isn't the way they recommend using it, but it is the way I use it. I put a couple of pumps into my hand, rub it all over my face, and even on my eyelids and underneath sometimes. In fact, I haven't been using an eye makeup remover, I'm ashamed to say, while using this. Um, I've been using this as my eye makeup remover. And rub it all over the face and then I splash it off. It's as simple as that. It probably says, it says you can rinse or tissue off, but I choose to rinse off. I like to rinse everything off. I'm never a big fan of tissueing. I find that I'm there for hours and hours. So that is a really great cleansing milk that is literally just for taking off your makeup um, and you should follow it with a cleanser. The next product that I wanted to mention was the clarifying lotion. I was prescribed the mild clarifying lotion which is the only one of the, they've got six of them now, that is alcohol free. So all five of the others, type one, two, three, four and anti-blemish all have alcohol in them. This is the only one that doesn't and the reason I was given this I believe is because I told her I didn't want to try the purple type 2 which is what my skin had turned out to be on the chart that Clinique do which is dry combination. It's very hard to, to, to call a skin dry combination. I, I think it's quite dangerous to, to categorise skins. Um, I, I think it's better to treat a problem rather than say this is your skin type therefore these products are going to suit you. Um, this is absolutely fine, completely fine compared to the, the clarifying lotion I used to use, which was number two, which I really do believe aggravated my skin. This one, even though it is apparently for very dry to dry skins, is absolutely perfect for my skin. And the other interesting thing is that people call the clarifying lotion a toner. It really is an exfoliator, and Clinique do state that on their website. It's cleanse, exfoliate, and then moisturize are their three steps. But I am impressed with the mild clarifying lotion and I wouldn't have been keen to um, try out the number two clarifying lotion again. Now this product is something I've been a little bit disappointed in. It's Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara, and it's just a bit nothing. It's just, the brush is so tiny, and I am someone who loves to get right into the corner of my bottom lashes if I'm doing my bottom lashes, and I just, it's so small that I feel that it's not really, Maybe I'm just not used to it, but I just don't think it's worth £11, especially not when I have been so hugely impressed with their high impact mascara. Now this is just fabulous. This is £16. I think save the £11 on the tiny little mascara and get a really great mascara that's full size that you can use time and time again. And just go into the bottom lashes with a bigger brush, with a normal brush. I think these are so gimmicky. That's what I don't like, a gimmicky mascara. And this is just a real classic mascara. This is their best-selling makeup item at the moment, I was told, in Selfridges earlier. So um, 
Really impressed with this mascara, really not impressed with this mascara. So this one's the bottom lash mascara and this one's high impact. And I would highly recommend people try this one. 16 pounds isn't cheap, it's, it's, it's a fair price, but it has lasted ages so far. The writing's even wearing off it. And I just think get a really good classic mascara rather than going for something gimmicky. I have become a huge fan of Clinique's Chubby Sticks. Now, I did a blog with Alan Waterman, my makeup artist from Footballers Wives, a little while ago, and he named these as one of his top five products, and he was really shocked that I hadn't tried them. I've got my hands on Chunky Cherry and Whopping Watermelon. There are eight colours all together. Um, I prefer the Chunky Cherry. I'm actually wearing the Whopping Watermelon at the moment. My problem with it is that I feel that I have to layer it on and on to really get the colour that I want. Um, this is how it comes out on my hand. So it's not particularly pigmented. I find the cherry one a little bit more so. There's the cherry one. Um, so although it's red, it isn't a scary red at all. It's actually a really nice way to try something a little bit more colourful on the lips than the safe colours that we all use, usually go for because you can only put one layer on or you can layer it up and up so that you, you actually do get a nice red lip. Um, I really like the Chunky Cherry one. These are really moisturising. They're £16, so they're not cheap, but I do think they're great. There's loads in there. They're going to last forever. And also, no sharpener needed. I love the twist up. Sharpener's always such a pain. You end up wasting so much product, and especially with a bigger lip. I, I remember buying a Benefit one of these, and no sharpener that I had fitted it, so I had to go back and buy their actual sharpener. So no pain with um, the twist ups. Really, really great. Eight colours but definitely go and try them on so that you get your right shade. The next product of Clinique's that I absolutely love, I would actually put this up there as one of my very favourite products of all time, is the Derma White Brightening City Block SPF 40. Now, this is slightly yellow when it comes out. It's a little bit more yellowy than their other City Blocks. Um, there is also an SPF 25 available, which is, so this one is £28 and that one is £16. So this is quite a bit more expensive for that extra, for that extra um, high factor. And this, I've just read on the back, is formulated for Asian skins, but I find it absolutely perfect on my skin. I did read on a couple of reviews, people didn't particularly like the colour. I have got a more yellow-based skin, so if you've got a more pink-based skin, I would maybe suggest going and trying this before buying it. And you can't buy this one everywhere. However, if this one isn't around, the SPF 25 City Block is fabulous. I really am such a fan. This is oil-free, lightweight, and actually it looks really nice on your skin after a moisturiser with no makeup on at all. Really nice base. I mean, it isn't a tinted moisturiser, but it kind of is heading that way. And really good primer before foundation too. Big fan, we should all be protecting our skin every day. The next product that I'm gonna talk about in the Clinique range is their step one of the three-step system. I was prescribed for, for my skin type um, liquid facial soap mild. So this is for dry combination skin type two, which is what I turned out to be on their chart. I would imagine most people turn out to be that on their chart from the questions. I remember thinking that at the time. Um, this leaves the skin in nice enough condition, but it tastes and smells absolutely foul. As you're washing your face every day, obviously you're splashing and washing and it's foaming up and a little bit always seems to go in my mouth and it is such an unpleasant taste, it really is. And it goes in my eyes, I think again, the way it foams and it's really, really stingy on the eyes, really harsh. And that does concern me a little bit because I always cleanse in the morning in the shower with a, a wash off cleanser and none of them um, sting my eyes like this one does. I've got a Kiehl's and a Dermalogica one in there as well and they just don't do this. Now I've been on their website, however, and 97% of people who have reviewed this product said they would recommend this to a friend and it is one of their best selling products. So it is just my opinion and what I like for my skin, but it wouldn't be my favorite product in the range. I called Selfridges this morning to ask them what Clinique's five top selling products are at the moment, they have a best-selling tower 
in the store there and I love things like that I love a fact so number one is the dramatically different lotion look at these pretty little stickers I got this week in Brighton uh, number one dramatically different lotion that is Clinique's best-selling item worldwide always I believe number two is the even better clinical dark spot corrector haven't tried it really want to number three is repair wear laser focus wrinkle and UV damage corrector want to try that even more Number four is my old friend, the Clarifying Lotion Type 2. And number five is the Liquid Facial Soap Mild, which is also the one that I use. There are two Clinique products that I didn't have with me this week in Eastbourne to talk about. Um, one of them is the Lip Gloss Air Kiss. I used to use this lip gloss on Footballers Wives. It was my favourite, well, my character's favourite lip gloss, and I loved it very, very much. It used to come in a tub, and now it comes in a stick. So that's always been one of my favourite Clinique items. Um, I have got so many lip glosses that every week something different comes with me. So um, that is always something that's going to stick in my head as one of my favourite lip glosses, definitely. Um, the other product that I do not know how it escaped my handbag I'm actually quite worried about its whereabouts, I love it so much, is the Fresh Bloom All Over Colour in Peony. Um, I will insert a picture of that now actually so that you know what I'm talking about. It's a gorgeous powder, it really lightens up the skin. I can't believe I haven't got it with me. I don't know where that is, I'm hoping it is at home and I've just, just accidentally not put it in my makeup bag. It's usually with me all the time, it's one of my favourite things. Um, I think that is it in terms of my best and worst Clinique products. Please leave me comments and let me know yours. I absolutely love hearing other people's thoughts on products, even if they're completely different to mine. I don't mind people disagreeing with me at all. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I will also put a link there to my blog um, with all the information of everything we've talked about and links. Thank you so much for watching.